nice here. Here's David, Gariner's Cove. How fitting. Oh, yeah. Okay, here's David in the dinghy. He's got the mariner down in the dinghy. He's doing whatever he does with it. This is getting exciting. Okay, here we go. Putting her in the water. Let's see what happens. She ran away. This is David taking the dinghy. He's going to row out to get her. She's pretty far away, actually. Here's David, and it's, I don't know if you can see where it is. It's between that sign and that boat. like he's almost to it, if that's what I think it is. I think, I think he may have gotten it. I think so. Okay, so he's doing a good job rowing back. Something tells me he's not going to want to go for a ride in the kayak later today, that's for sure. Do you want me to throw you this line? Okay. All right. Camera's wow. Camera's gone. Oh my gosh. Flooded. Flooded. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Yep. Nothing did what we were supposed to do. Wow. Okay. Let me, let me help you. Yeah. Oh. Well, that was rather disappointing. Uh, first test flight in the ocean and. Uh, Really, I, I will not be able to recommend this device uh, for a couple of reasons. One, it ran away. It did the NASA famous, I guess, famous, never had this happen before, but off it went. Uh, it did not uh, fare well. Let me show you what happened. Okay, it landed upside down. Uh, ESC burned through. Okay, by the time I got it. Uh, three broken props. Broken landing skid and GoPro's gone. <laughs> so, ah, the nice smell of failure. Whew. And there you can see lots of water in there. Not a happy camper. And of course that's salt water, so let's see. Look at that. The battery didn't explode, that was nice, but we did have uh, fried ESCs. Oh boy. Anyway, that's it. Unfortunately, for these reasons, I will not recommend uh, this uh, device. If you fly it in a bathtub, I guess you'll be okay and uh, should be fine. But for any real-world work, too many ifs. So, anyhow, that's it. See you next time.